Hello and welcome to the Bentley Report, this end of financial year edition. I'm Gary Peer. I'm Leon Kuzenfitter. And it's all happening in Bentley. Have things ever been hotter in the suburb of Bentley than this winter in 2021? I don't believe so, Gary. The, the prices are phenomenal. The level of competition is incredible. Um, and Bentley's just, we're just loving Bentley. What a hot market. We are market. loving Bentley. We're going to talk this episode about two things in particular. How hot is land, number one, and what's a courtyard worth, number two, because we've got some interesting examples of what may well be the value of a courtyard. But first, let's launch into land, Leon, because, uh, you know, this, and this is an interesting June, July period, because usually people are away, uh, even a lot of real estate principals are off overseas somewhere, um, spending remember all their hard work. Remember those good old days when you could go somewhere? Uh, hardly, yeah. Barely remember them. But, you know, a lot of, you, you used to go, if you want to see a real estate agent, we'll see you in Mykonos, you know, at 2am or whatever it used to be. Not anymore. We're all here. Uh, yep. Lucky we can't go to New South Wales. We can't go to Adelaide. We can't go to Perth. We can just get to Queensland, maybe not get back. And we're lucky if we can get up to the peninsula. And it's bloody cold there anyway. But yep. uh, it is an interesting and different time because everybody's here, focused on property, big crowds, some great listings uh, and some really competitive auctions. None more than maybe the property in Roma Street, yep. uh, number five Roma Street yep. uh, in the heart of Bentley. Uh, now, uh, we were at that auction together. I was fortunate enough to be the auctioneer. And uh, when I drove away and said, Arrivederci Roma, I could not believe the price. Tell I us, know. how has that happened? Tell us about that. Well, uh, there's just a thirst. So the demand is continually higher than supply. That's just the simplest logic. So yep. um, this was a, yep. uh, I would say this would be at best a fair home, a weather ball, uh, sorry, a brick oh. veneer home that um, probably oh. wasn't ready fair, to be rented. Fair would be a kind term. It was. A, I mean, I think the vendors would accept that that ham had had its day. It was pretty pretty much all over, very run down. The keys were via a bulldozer, I think, when I they think were going so. to be open with a purchaser. Yeah. Uh, but did any the... buyer, sorry, did any buyer have any interest in that house at all? No. No, and no. there were five or six bidders, they six all, bidders, they all yeah. wanted the land only, so let's That's just it. say it's land only. Yeah, so like a slightly wider than normal block, just yes. over 50 feet. Yeah. Uh, on the west in the, side, in the old, in the old yeah. or 15 and a half metres it yes. was, on the west side of a nice uh, small street, Roma yes, Street, got, you know, probably 10, 12 houses in it. Yep. And we were hoping we'd get something close to 1.4. Yep. And we got 1,735, which um, is just a huge price. Big price. It's a big price, but it's also a price that there was someone at 1,730 and there was someone very high, one yeah. sixes. So yeah. it wasn't like someone just put their hand up no. and offered it. No. There was a, um, you know, a depth of interest in that file. Uh, and I think all the buyers at the end were looking at it to develop into a dual occupancy type development. So. Um, I think people are trying to figure out where to put their money and their energy. I think the uh, vendor had said that the, the mother had bought it, the, uh, and she, late mother, I presume late mother, uh, had bought it, and I think it was something like 20 years ago for $140,000, I think. Yeah. Uh, so that's not, you know, that's not doubling every seven years. That's, that is times like no, 12, 12 or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah, so I think yeah. that was the price. So it's just extraordinary, isn't it, what's going on? And I mean, these uh, some of these land uh, holders and owners have become instant millionaires uh, in this new market. Absolutely, and I think also, you know, not that we go and tell people they should sell their home, but we there are people that are holding these types of properties that are either not rented, like this one was for many years, yep or rented at a low rental because of the condition of the property. Um, putting some land tax on top of that, you might not be getting a great return. Uh, it's possible you could you know, cash out of that and buy something that's complete, get a better return. Not that I'm giving advice, but no. there must be a lot of, uh, of properties in that area uh, that if people knew these prices now over one and a half million established on a single block, which is under 600 square meters, uh, would potentially go to sell and reinvest their money in another way. Take your money, live your life, enjoy it. You can't go overseas, you can't get a car because they're all sold, so yeah. uh, I'm not sure what you're gonna do, but you know, have a great trip around Australia. If you can travel anywhere within Australia, you might get locked down, but uh, it's a very, very unusual situation out there, but the market is very, very strong for land. Staying with land, Leon, tell us about two Shanahan Crescent uh, in the fair shores of McKinnon. Of course, the Bentley Report covers all sorts of areas, of mostly in and around Bentley. We talked on GPTV about, Philip was saying, if you, if you did like a five kilometer radius around the center of Bentley, around that Roma Street, uh, you know, you've got great shops, great cafes, Terrific. you've got fantastic uh, restaurants and transport and, 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 transport and train parks everywhere. And, and schools. So it's it really is a fantastic, uh, I guess, area to be able to live and base your life and your family's life in. Uh, but McKinnon, another great suburb. Tell us about this one in Shanahan. Yeah, Prison. a nice big block of land, just under 800 square metres. So went to auction, was competitively auctioned at the end of May. 
uh, with four bidders on the day, selling for two million four hundred and twenty. Now they've yep. had a planning permit uh, for uh, three dwellings. Whether they Fantastic. use that pl permit or not, I'm not sure. But that was the potential of that site. Again, a house that was pretty close to just land value, but again, uh, you know, close to two and a half million dollars uh, for a, a development site in McKinnon that was right near the school. So obviously, in the school zone, that is so hot. Now, people who are building, they're going to be putting two units up. Yeah. Uh, they might put up the sort of units that we've seen in Castlewood Street in Bentley East. With some images of those on the screen now. Yeah, Tell us about yeah. what they sold for. That was um, that was terrific. Yeah, Darren and Arlene ran that campaign, uh, and a really well put together double story four bedroom town residence. Uh, we had I think five bidders on the day there. The reservers in the mid one threes ended up selling for one million four hundred ninety five. And the uh, second place bidder was that disappointed. We didn't want them to leave home, uh, go home without something. Every so bidder wins a prize. Every underbidder wins We took them next door and sold them that one too. Good so luck. that was 86A Castlewood Street. Good luck to them. Uh, and uh, that was at 1490. And also at a similar price range, just on the weekend, Gary had another very well put together, beautiful four bedroom, double star story, brand new townhouse sell at 72A Kennedy Street at a very similar price. So there's, uh, Gary, a lot of strength in that. 28 to 30 square, double storey, new townhouse market around one and a half million in East Bentley, uh, which uh, is the byproduct or the end product of some of these raw blocks of land that we're well, selling. Well, I wonder if the land now is selling for more than it did for when these townhouses were sold. Yep. You wonder whether that's going to put pressure on the prices of that next Absolutely new product. Absolutely, you'll have to. So, have to. Uh, Plus the cost yep. of construction has gone up. That's right. Lack of materials, I'm hearing, is a massive problem. That's very problem. true. I've heard the same. And I think if you're looking at buying a townhouse, now's a good time to get it because I think the market's going to catch up and either you know, probably going to demand a higher price for some of these well, they'll, uh, they'll have to be more because they're paying more for the land, more for the labour, more for the materials. Yep. Uh, they'll be asking, you know, before you know it, these will be selling close to $2 million, Gary. Absolutely. Now, we talked about what's a courtyard worth and uh, we've got a couple of examples to ask that. Uh, one of those is in Centre Road, is that right? Where yeah, we had a terrific yeah. auction. Um, lucky the restrictions were eased a bit this weekend. We could have a pretty good crowd, yeah. even though it was outside. Uh, but it was an interesting case study that you've touched on, Gary, that about two and a half months ago, uh, there was a sale in this block at 207 to 209 Centre Road Bentley. It wasn't made by us, but it was a two bedroom apartment with one bathroom with one car space that was very similar in floor plan and even marginally better renovated than the one we had. And that sold for 453,000, yeah. which seemed to be about right. Yeah, fair and reasonable. Um, and we thought we thought our courtyard probably had about 50,000, so yeah. we were hoping to get close to 500. Bring up to and around five, yeah. Yeah, we were on yeah. the market at 495 on auction day, and uh, sold for 596. So extraordinary. So um, courtyard yeah. worth like 150,000, 130,000. Uh, it's extraordinary. And Hector Court, of course, also a villa unit. We sold in Moorabbin. We love Moorabbin. Uh, and it was good to see you there at 5 or 2 Hector Court, which yeah. uh, we sold for delightful people, two delightful people. Uh, and that one sold for $683,000 again with a lovely courtyard. I wonder what yeah. that courtyard would have added on. I dare say at least $100,000, I would so. say. Yeah. So it could be. 15, 20, even as much as up to 25 or 30% of the value of a property yeah. between, uh, would that be fair to say? Uh, yeah. Depending well, on the size. Even up to 30% like yeah. in, this, in, this, in, in Centre Road. Um, and it makes sense, Gary, because as the price of the full block of land becomes super unaffordable for many people and their townhouses are going up, that's becoming unaffordable. Uh, neck, and especially with things like lockdowns and mine, if you want a little bit of your own space, a little courtyard for an apartment or a villa makes sense and people are paying a premium. I'm also seeing something else, Gary. Lots of people, before they get married and have kids, they're having dogs. And you can't have a dog unless you have a courtyard. So nearly all the buyers, all these yeah. young couples we're seeing, it's very cons uh, consistent yeah. that they all want to buy that little courtyard for their puppy dogs. There you so go. The expensive little toy, the puppy dog. Before you spend on your kids, you spend on your dog. Exactly right. We've got funny priorities, us humans, but that's how it is often. And look, I know in my house, uh, the dog's the only one that greets me, and I can tell you that if it was up to them, uh, get rid of me or the dog, I'd be uh, having my bags packed for me, I reckon. You'd be in the kennel. Uh, I would be, no, I'd be out the door, and the dog, the dog yeah, I probably would be in the kennel, uh, and I've been in the dog house many times. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, a little bit of an insight into what's going on in Bentley and Surrounds, and also, how much is a courtyard worth? Well, there you go, it could be worth up to a third of the value of your home. And, I don't think anybody would ever have thought of it that way. Uh, let's talk very quickly just about a few of our offerings, Leon, before we go. Uh, we've got something coming up this weekend in Marv Ho Street in Bentley. Yeah, and back on that theme of courtyard apartments, uh, Gary, this is a terrific two bedroom, two bathroom with one basement car space apartment with a terrific courtyard, like a bigger than most courtyard. Uh, and uh, we've had a lot of people through that building and through that apartment, so we're confident this 
weekend. We'll see a good auction on Sunday. Um, and again, we could probably do a, a case study on the prices, the ground level ones in that building are getting as opposed to the ones just directly above. Well, I wonder also whether you know, people have been through this lockdown period also feel, well, if I'm gonna stay home, I want some outdoor area. Yeah. Might be a connection there, you never know. Could be a COVID driven courtyard premium that people are achieving at the moment as sellers. 12B Clapperton Street, another one coming up on the market. Leon, tell us a little about that one yeah, too. Yeah, so this please. is the finished product of the raw land, a good client of ours. And shout out to Darren, who's done a fantastic job at this development. I'm looking forward to working with Jeremy on this four bedroom plus study, really oversized townhouse in the western part of Bentley, uh, with Bentley West Primary School just uh, around the corner, which is a highly sought after primary school, it and is. also falling in the Brighton Secondary School zone, which is for me pretty much a flavour of the month in terms of public, private, uh, pu public government primary, primary, schools. Primary, yes. Primary secondary school? schools. Secondary, secondary schools. schools. Okay, good. We got it out eventually. Uh, let's talk about Osborne Avenue because the secret's out about that one. It's just uh, been just been listed, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's had one weekend. Yeah, it's had one weekend in the online, campaign. and yep. Aviv Samuel's running that campaign. A really beautiful, modern, double-story town residence right in the heart of that McKinnon Secondary School zone, uh, and it's priced around that two million dollar mark, which is really now the entry level if you want something that resembles a home that's in good order in the McKinnon School Zone. So we're definitely looking forward to seeing how that one pans out over the next few weeks. Where is Barrington Street in the whole order of uh, the campaign period? So Barrington Street's a couple of weeks away. Hasn't started yet. So this is like yeah. an exclusive. It's like a Bentley Report exclusive property because it's not online yet, is it, Leon? If, if, if that's what you're saying, Gary, that's what it is. It's not online yet. Well, it is. And, uh, it we're be. still. Of course. We're Have still getting it ready. Man. We're having it ready, thing. Gary. Yep. We're getting it ready. Um, okay. And this one is, you know, these are the lucky people that have now fallen into the new extended McKinnon Secondary School zone in East Bentley. So uh, this is uh, a way to get into that school in Bentley East and a terrific three bedroom, modern double storey town residence that would get you or kids, not you, probably not you, but your kids into that school in the next couple of years. Well, if my kids want to go back to school, I'll let them know, uh, Leon, but they did pretty well, unlike me, who probably should have gone back to school. Me. They actually did okay. Anyway, Barrington Street, uh, Bentley East, keep a look out for that one. 28B. Uh, it's just, just come up. If we've got some images or photos, or even if it's a Google, whatever we've got, we'll send it to you. You can have a look at all you'll see on the screen behind us. We actually could be even in the property now, because that's how it works with the green screen. You know, it just moves around Freaky, all the time. It is a freaky world that we live in and it's a very exciting real estate world that we live in, Leon, with lots happening. Bentley is thumping and pumping and great cafes and Centre Road is happening. I drove down there the other day. I know you are there every day, but gee, there's a lot going on down Centre Road. There's a lot of fantastic uh, shops and stores and restaurants and cafes. Had a fantastic, uh, is it Boozer? Is it Boozer? Boozer. Boozer, what a fantastic restaurant that is. Well done to them. And the other one just down uh, a few doors from the office where we have- Fifth the chapter. Ca Fifth chapter, another fantastic and cafe. Just to show the kind of money that's going into the area, the uh, East Boundary Hotel's just been sold to a Syndicate of people, yes. conglomerate, is yeah, that the word? Yeah, uh, for $33 million. That's, uh, that's a big buy. Uh, the banger, as the locals call it, the East Band. We had a few meals and beers there over the years. Uh, and good. if you had a couple too many beers, you'd also probably donate a few to the pokies on the way out. That's probably why it's worth $33 million. And thankfully, uh, close to transport, if you can't drive home, you've got to uh, be responsible. There's always a booze yeah. bus on East Boundary Road. You don't want to be drink driving around no, East Boundary very Road. Good. We don't be drink driving anywhere. Especially but, uh, that is a big wrap on the Bentley report on this late June, perhaps even early July, depending on when you watch it, uh, episode. Uh, we are looking forward to a strong financial a year ahead uh, with property sales and transactions. And uh, we wish you all the best for all of your, may all your property dreams come through and we hope we can help facilitate them for you. I'm Gary Peer. I'm Leon Guzenfitter. We will see you next month.